Hello, this is Coach Candace again coming at you today. And what I want to talk to you about briefly is something very, very important, something very intense, and something that you may not know about, you may not be aware of, you may be aware of, but you choose not to talk about it and you choose not to discuss it without knowing that it's the very thing that you need to discuss to understand who you are, why you do what you do, why you don't do what you ought to do, and why you do the things that you don't want to do. What I want to talk to you about is ACEs, A-C-E-S, ACEs. What is ACEs? Adverse Childhood Experiences. These are evidence-based situations that prove true as to why we are hindered from being successful or becoming the best you that you could be. Let me give you an example of an ACES. An ACES is if you come from a family situation to where you were verbally abused, if your parents ever said to you, you're never going to amount to anything, that's an adverse childhood experience. If you experienced a situation growing up where someone in a household went to jail or to prison, that's an adverse childhood experience. If you experienced something, a divorce, if your parents divorced, that's an adverse childhood experience. If you now, as an adult, have experienced at least six to eight proven adverse childhood experiences, chances are that if you were to be involved in a current victimization, traumatization, the chances increase that you will be more, it would be more difficult for you to maneuver and navigate through the feelings and emotions of that current experience due to an adverse experience that happened in your childhood. I'll give you an example. Some of those situations that I just named happened to me in my childhood. Now, <clears throat> they didn't happen directly to me, but indirectly happened to me. So whenever we feel like something doesn't directly happen, then it doesn't affect you. And that's not true. It could indirectly happen and could cause an adverse effect to uh, hinder your forward moving progress. In elementary school, I would probably say somewhere between the fourth and fifth grade, I started my period and no one would tell me that I was bleeding um, in the back of my pants. So I probably went through school that at least a whole a half day um, with blood on the seat of my pants and not realizing until maybe a teacher or a true friend um, exposed that to me and let me know what was going on and what happened. How embarrassing is that? Then you have to go back to school the next day. Um, and you know how cruel kids could be um, on a daily basis with the whispers. That's the girl with the blood. That's the girl with the, who started her period. That's the girl, you know. And that happened. That That's an adverse experience. And if you had the type of parent that would tell you, you know, it's natural, it's normal, everybody does it, just go on with your, just go on to school, don't worry about it, get over it. That's what we do, we get over it. But those feelings of embarrassment, the feelings of shame, they're, they're with you. And it, and it probably started there. Okay, so let's just say I got through elementary school, okay, I buried that situation. Now coming, um, growing as a young adult, 
another embarrassing situation happens. Well, that's going to wake up that adverse situation that happened back in elementary school that I didn't fully get a chance to, to vent about, to talk to someone about how embarrassing that made me feel, how low that made me feel, um, how maybe the kids laughed and mocked at me and started calling me names behind that. And you know, there's something freeing, there's something releasing that happens whenever you're given the opportunity to share those things that are on your heart. And when you don't get a chance to share those things, then you build this wall, you build this shell, you build this defense mechanism that keeps you at bay in your relationships because you're unsure as to how the person on the other end is going to receive that and going to make you feel about that. ACEs, Adverse Childhood Experiences. Those are some of the things that we do talk about in my coaching sessions to give you an opportunity to share about how that adverse experience affected you as a young person, as a young boy, as a young girl into your adulthood so that it could no longer have a hold on you, that it would no longer hold you bound. I don't want you to be uh, hindered. I don't want you to be bound by things that happened 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 30 years ago. Let's release those things. Let's talk about those things. It probably happened to me as well. Maybe we can laugh about those things and fully get to a place where we can get over that and get on to the next experience in our wonderful, beautifully created lives. I'll see you at the next session.